Hi, I'm Stefan, Senior Solutions Architect from AWS. Hi, I'm Cody, a Principal Engineer with Solaris, and this is my architecture. Hey Cody, this is a pretty interesting architecture that brought us here today. And Amazon Connect is kind of the centerpiece of it. So tell me, what kind of business problem are you trying to solve with this architecture? Yeah, so Stefan, Solaris is a technology company with a banking license. And recently we partnered with Adiatc, based out of Germany, to take over their credit card portfolio. Mm -hmm. And this brought us in over 1 million customers and 1.4 million cards. Wow, OK, cool. And um, so I see here the customers, and then there's also the call center agent. So let's let's talk about how the people interact with the system. Yeah, so we're expecting to take over 56,000 calls mm -hmm. across 120 agents acting uh, working at the time. Right. And then maybe we talk about how do this actually takes place. So I see there are different channels also that you support, right? Yeah, so customers can contact support through either their phone or the live chat in the app. And because Amazon Connect supports an omni-channel support system, the interaction for the end customer is the same. OK, cool. So let's let's walk through a flow, right? I, as a customer, maybe I go uh, over the phone and I call you guys. Uh, so what's happening then here with the architecture? Yeah, so the first thing that's going to happen is the customer is going to connect with Amazon Connect. And then Amazon Connect will make a call to a Lambda function, which will then make a call to our CRM system to try and identify the customer based on the number that they're calling from. Cool. OK, so now the customer called. You identified the customer. You enriched, I think, the context with the customer information. Then what happens? Yeah, and then the customer is then connected with an Amazon LexBot, and the LexBot is designed to determine the intent for the customer or the reason they're calling. OK, and I think then we have two situations, right? So sometimes you can detect the intent with a LexBot, and sometimes you can't, right? That's right. Or the customer is calling for a reason that can't be handled automatically. And if that's the case where we can't determine the intent or mm -hmm. the customer needs to be contacted with an actual agent, then they will be connected with the uh, customer support using Zendesk. Got it. So how did you integrate Connect and Zendesk? So the connection with Zendesk actually comes out of the box with Amazon okay. Connect. And so we didn't need to do any additional coding in order to enable that. Got it, got it. So then uh, what is Connect doing then so that the call center agent knows that a customer is calling in? So when a customer calls in and does get connected with an, uh, with an agent, first we have to execute a Lambda function to get the customer's consent for recording the call. Okay. And the reason of this is to comply with the GDPR regulations in the EU, and it also gives us a lot more information from the call analytics. OK, so what do you do with the information that you track in, in a call? What are you doing with that? So the information that we receive from the call recording gets stored in um, S3. And then that gives us access to additional information like call transcripts and sentiment analysis. Got it, got it. So um, Cody, um, now the, the call between the agent and the customer is kind of finished. Um, they, they have solved the issue for the customer. What is uh, Connect doing in that situation? So when the call is finished with the agent, then Amazon Connect will use a Lambda function to automatically attach the metrics for the call, such as the call transcript and sentiment analysis, to the Zendesk ticket. OK, so the information is then from Connect to Zendesk, right? Yeah. OK, cool. And then we had the other situation uh, where you were able to detect the intent from the LexBot. So what is happening there? So if the customer is calling for a reason that we can handle automatically and it is detected by the Amazon LexBot, it allows us to initiate another LexBot that would, is specifically designed to handle the call. And this gives us the ability to use Lambda functions to make calls to our backend product API to execute the customer's request. Cool. So then you can really have deep integration from Connect down to your um, core systems to help the customer. Yeah. Awesome. I also see some of the analytical services from AWS here on the canvas, like QuickSight and Athena. How do you work with that? Yeah, so we use the Amazon Connect Data Lake to set up analytics. And this allows us to create Amazon QuickSight dashboards that work with Athena and Amazon S3 in order to provide comprehensive analytics and dashboards for our staff. Awesome, awesome. So how was the experience of you know, working with Amazon Connect and building the solution? Working with Amazon Connect was incredibly easy. It allowed us to set up a flexible solution within an infrastructure environment that we were already using. And it enabled us to set up a multi-tenant environment that allowed us to take calls for multiple partners at the same time. Got it. Got it. OK. Well, thank you, Cody, for sharing this architecture with us today. You're welcome.